Well, at Mayura Station, what was most fascinating is that in that final stay for the cattle, 20% of their diet has sweets and chocolate. It was quite hilarious because there were sweets that I used to eat as a child in Australia. When they eat the feed, they actually look through for those sweets because they love the sweetness, obviously. I've brought my chef Felix, who is the, the chef at Monty, here on a special journey to meet the team at Mayura Station in South Australia. And we've gone there to understand how it all works, uh, to go over the whole farm and really find out why this really is the best Florentina. So Mayura Station is the first pastoral lease that was ever granted in South Australia. We took over, became custodians of Mayura Station in the mid-1980s. We imported some full-blood Wagyu cattle from Japan into Australia in uh, late 1998. And Wagyu are renowned as being the breed of cattle that has highest quality beef. Being a single source operation means that we're managing all of the different inputs in producing our beef. One, we're growing all our cattle here. They're all raised on this unique terrar that is here at Mayura Station and the Limestone Coast. We grow silages here on the property. We grow corn silage. We also grow a ryegrass silage, oat and haze, wheats, which provide not only um, good amounts of energy, but they provide starch and, and also protein to the cattle. Cattle are grazing on very high calcium rich soils, so they grow very healthily. And also we're very close to the coast, so you get this coast wind. All the salts and fresh air influences the quality of our beef. So here at Mayura Station we have 3,000 head of full blood Wagyu cows. Those cows stay with their mum for the first six months of their life. We wean them from their mother and we take them and we put them in a free range feeding environment. They're um, grazing on the hills but they also get a ration towards the production of our high quality beef. Uh, we call it a slow growth technique. We get this beautiful fine texture, fine muscle fibres in the meat. And that gives the beef this beautiful silky mouthfeel. It's enhancing the marbling. We also include some very novel things in our feeding, which are all about producing a unique flavour profile to Mayura Station. And one of those is including chocolate in the feed. So it gives a beautiful sweetness to the meat. Growing up in Melbourne, you know, I've been coming here ever since I was a young boy. Florentino, uh, back then, is really an iconic place. Uh, my father would bring me here and we would enjoy a bowl of spaghetti bolognese uh, down in the salad bar during my uh, school holidays. Well, aside from having wonderful childhood memories of Florentino, I'm here with uh, my chef Felix from Monti. I decided to bring him here to meet uh, Chef Guy Grossi at this Tuscan uh, institution, uh, Florentino, to really learn how to prepare the best Florentina steak. The Fiorentina steak is cooked very simply in the traditional manner here at Grossi Florentina. What we do is we bring our steak up to room temperature, season it very lightly with salt. We add a little layer of oil, I give it a little bit of a massage. Then we put it onto the hot char grill and we keep it moving a little bit. We will be putting it on the grill for maybe six to eight minutes on each side. Let it do its thing and let it cook and then rest it well. Visiting Mayura Station changed both Felix's and my understanding of the Wagyu and exactly what goes into producing such a premium cut as the Florentina. By knowing all of this and having this in-depth knowledge, it really injects a whole different level of passion. You know, you feel more invested, you feel like you're a custodian, in a way, of the produce. We came away feeling so much more confident and undoubtedly that level of confidence um, translates into more passion, into more spreading the word, so to speak, uh, and ultimately to the best presentation for the customer.